black owned businesses, we as a community have been quite hard on them, right? And then society has too. So when I think of supporting black owned businesses, I think of us looking within and helping uplift our community and providing and generating resources and bringing resources back within to help us solve the complex problems that our community and African-Americans, black folks really face. Entrepreneurship in Indy is very scarce and it's a new trend, it's up and coming. Uh, but for black people, there aren't a lot of accessibilities to financials. You apply to so many different accelerated programs or pitch competitions, and sometimes they're not minority-led, and they kind of overlook sometimes those small startups that are, do have potential. And so just for uh, the Black Cash Fund to pour into and financial support black entrepreneurs, not only here locally in Indianapolis, but nationwide is tremendous. Shop black, y'all. Shop black. <laughs> I think it's just important for events like Party Gras to have ownership. When it comes to ownership, it's not only just having ownership for yourself, but the best part of wealth is being able to share that with other people. A Wall Street Journal it had a post and it said that it would take 228 years for the average black family to amass the same amount of wealth as the average white family in America. Um, slavery was over 400 years ago. So in 400 years, we've only put it in 100 and, uh, 172 two years with respect to wealth. That was staggering. So I could sit back, we can sit back and we can say no. We can say that we're not gonna solve that problem or we can be a part of the solution for it. So when I think about supporting black owned businesses, I think generational wealth and creating and bridging that economic and racial uh, wealth gap.